For our first sorting algorithm, let's take a look at bubble sort. For our specific scenario, here is the problem statement. Given an array of integers, sort the array. Sorting can either be ascending or descending. For example, if we have an array of 5 integers, minus 6, 20, 8, minus 2 and 4, passing the array into a bubble sort function should return the same array in ascending order. Before we start, I want to mention that bubble sort is a poor sorting algorithm in real world and is primarily used as a good introduction to sorting algorithms. That is the intention in this series as well. You might never use this apart from interviews and as a stepping stone to other sorting algorithms. Having said that, please do make sure you understand how the algorithm works and not skip the video. This is also the video we would understand in a bit more detail compared to the next three algorithms. All right, let's begin. Let's first understand the idea behind bubble sort. With bubble sort, you compare adjacent elements in the array and swap the position if they are not in the intended order. Repeat the instruction as you step through each element in the array. Once you step through the whole array with no swaps, the array is sorted. Confused? Well, let me help you visualize with an example. Consider the same array. Minus 6, 20, 8, minus 2 and 4. I have omitted the comma intentionally. Here is how bubble sort works. First, check if minus 6 and 20 are in order. They are as minus 6 is less than 20. Next, check if 20 and 8 are in order. They are not. Swap 20 and 8. Next, check if 20 and minus 2 are in order. They are not. Swap 20 and minus 2. Check if 20 and 4 are in order. They are not. Swap 20 and 4. We have now reached the end of the array. At this point, we check if elements have been swapped. If they have, repeat the comparison from the first index. Start with minus 6 and 8. Are they in order? Yes. Check 8 and minus 2. Swap since 8 is greater than minus 2. Check 8 and 4. Swap since 8 is greater than 4. Check 8 and 20. They are in order, so you don't have to do anything. We have now reached the end of the array. Again, at this point, we check if elements have been swapped. If they have, Repeat the comparison from the first index. So start with minus 6 and minus 2. They are already in order. Check minus 2 and 4. They are in order as well. 4 and 8. They are also in order. Finally, 8 and 20. They are in order once again. We have reached the end of the array. We again check if elements have been swapped. None of the elements have been swapped. Now if that is the case, the array is sorted. This is how bubble sort works. In each loop, the highest number is said to have bubbled to the top. Hence the name bubble sort. 20 in the first iteration, 8 in the second iteration, and so on. Alright, if you have understood the algorithm, now is the time to pause and try implement the solution. If you would like to solve together, let's do so in the next video.